Greetings, members, one and all. We are live here. Welcome to one and all of the Salivation Nation as we proceed with the busy night here. Got a lot of comments to go through. We're going to go back nine years ago. Planet of the Half Dollar. At least one person knows this world is mine. That's right, exactly. Exactly right, Half Dollar One. You're the man. I love uh, Midas Mulligan. Says here, Proof Coins Blu-ray. Salive, don't mess around. Indeed. Yes, indeed. I don't know why I showed this movie in here. But I did. It was fun. All right. Very good. Good to see you guys. No IQ is here. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that uh, No IQ was coming to us from the future or very far in the past. Ghost Watch Ace and Tone is here. Cemetery Shop is here. Dean R is here. Eagle Steve is here. Matthew Crust Life. Uh, Silver Days. And uh, John Knox. Good crowd here tonight. I appreciate you guys joining me, as always, as we proceed as promised here we've got uh wow that is real wealth says red herring yes indeed gold definitely is real wealth for sure indeed it is all right the cracker stacker is here good to see you all right and uh maybe it's just me but i really don't like the intro of these videos your entire thing with the mouth spitting coins just disturbs me don't worry coins bros well um uh that intro is no longer used so you haven't came back so we must have turned you off uh, long enough, but anyways, Vinick says, "All honesty, the new hundred dollar bill looks like poopy. I miss the old dollar designs. I know I hear it does kind of look like play money, doesn't it? For sure, most of us gotten used to it." Hi, Big Trader is here. Good to see you, and Big Trader, thanks for sending me that email. Still a lot, a lot to do with that. And just to, to, I'm so busy with the channel, just keeping up with producing content. It's very difficult to to do market any other way without so much, even with artificial intelligence. All right. Uh, uh, so let's see here. T.Y. T. Littleful. Did you order the two BU set today? I got mine after the launch. Uh, I did get, um, the Kennedy, but much later, later, much later. In fact, only very recently that I get it. Finally. All right. Very good. And we've got, uh, almost circulated. The Shanks are a little crude, but I like them. I bought six and two. Uh, oh, sharks. Sharks. The sharks. The sharks are crude, not Shanks. Very cool. Yes, indeed. They are a little bit crude, sort of simple. Gold Bear Bunny. That's why I'm so glad to be able to buy some gold. Now I know four ounces isn't much, but I'm going to try to keep uh, buying. Well, I hope you have, and I'd be very curious to see what you have right now, my friend. All right. Let's see here on this one. Let's just go back past that one from nine years ago. This is Passport X has a good comment here. He says uh, they should start making... Uh, more platinum jewelry since gold jewelry is so expensive. At least uh, they can make pure platinum necklaces and not 585 or 750 percentages like gold. That's true. In fact, Minet is a place that I go to that is, sells those jewelry. So there is a place where you can buy it for sure. A little bit of a premium, but yes, indeed you can. Hillbilly Stock Picks is here. The Broke Stacker is here. Milk Mistakes Were Made Stacking. Good to see you. Welcome. Glad to see all of you guys here tonight. Justin Hunt is here. All right. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it's one sal turned after another. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, we, we know we can have that. We have to have that. We got to have it. It's just a constant stream of Turdish, you right? Know, Turdistan, which is where Alan Gold lives. He lives in Turdistan. Chris Bustler is coming to us from, uh, from Ohio. Welcome. Good to see you. Nick's Coins. Platinum, I think, is much more volatile than gold and silver. In my opinion, it's a buy and sell right off, not a buy and hold. Yeah, it's a gamble. That's for sure. It sure is a gamble. You're right, Nick's Coins. Very good. Wow, look at that. A Cyber Current Twitcher, who I think is the longest continuous member, channel member on this channel, and I am honored and humbled that he is. 47 months. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that. Wow, thank you, sir. Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Man. All right. Look at that. All right. And let's see here. We've got Zardos. It says, buy silver, platinum, and crystallized osmium. There you go, Zardos. Yes, indeed. That's right. And Dennis Niemeyer says, awesome information here. Uh, FJB. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it so much as we move. This is about the platinum bad news. See, sometimes I'll even talk about bad news with platinum, even though I'm a platinum bull. Yes, indeed. All right. And hello from British Columbia, from Vancouver Stacker. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Glad you're here with us tonight or this afternoon in your neck of the woods. Uh, Silver Wolverine, I just never wanted any platinum in my stack. 
uh, in my 10 plus years of stacking. I still own zero platinum. It's more rare than gold and silver, but if demand and, and is low, rarity doesn't matter. That's true. You're right. Uh, the other white metal and other white meat. I would just go with silver and chicken and not platinum and pork. Yep, a good point, and that's totally understandable. Silver Wolverine, it's not for everybody. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got uh, uh, the Midnight Gardener says, Sounds like a good time to buy some platinum. Yes, indeed, it does, for sure. I mean, if it stays low, might not be might be a good opportunity. The cranky one, man, the platinum rue is super nice. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Better looking than the silver one for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't have milk spots. I still think platinum is a buy and hold. There are some new relatively yet unshared medical uses for platinum, as I understand. Interesting. Uh, new unshared uses. I'd love to know what those are. That's cool. Very good. Nice. Oh, congratulations, Zook. You got the one of the 2007 Five Nines Gold Maples. I love those coins. I got those as well. They're really neat pieces. I like those. The first year of issue for the Five Nines Maples. Richie Luxury. I feel like most people don't even know what platinum is. Yes. There's a lot of people that really don't know. For sure. All right. But uh, still a neat metal. Uh, indeed. I, I like platinum, says Dr. Jack144. Let's get over here to where we can be efficient. He says, I have a third of each in silver, gold, and platinum. I usually get whichever of the three is the best deal at the time I'm buying. I'm surprised platinum isn't performing better, though. Yeah. Yep, I don't know. And I go through some of the reasons why it's not in that video, but very good. All right. Let's see here. Mm. Yep, hillbilly stock picks. I remember that as well, too. For quite a while, it was the standard. It was That's why you see it being as a higher standard for credit cards and other things. Because uh, because it was for most of its time, it was uh, it was it was up on its it was almost double the price of gold. You're right. All right, let's see here. Whoa, mistakes were made. Stacking just signed up to be an honorary citizen on his own accord. Thank you so much. Mistakes were made. Stacking. I'm honored and humbled that you decided to do that to to join as a member. Thank you for your support. Appreciate that, sir. Wow. Very cool. All right. Yeah, the trend shape for you. Good point. There's still a lot of people that don't know what silver is either. West Texas Stacker is here tonight as well as Tom Larson. Welcome, everybody. Glad you're here with us tonight. And uh, let's see here. King Tiger Crown State. The state says the following here. Um, he says, if you had a rough nugget of platinum, palladium, rhodium, and silver out of the ground, not labeled or stamped, in any way, without the aid of technology and machinery for testing, only your eyes, ears, and hands to try to differentiate with would you be able to tell which is which and how. Um, uh, per, yes, I could definitely tell the difference between platinum and palladium. Rhodium might be a little bit tougher, uh, but you can definitely distinguish all three of those metals from silver very easily. However, silver you know, typically doesn't come in raw form so easily, but anyways... Whoa, look at this. Our first super chat of the night from Niels Han Dynasty with a $5 super chat here. Buy silver, platinum, and crystallized osmium. Yes, indeed. There he is. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Check his channel out. We got Michael K. with us as well. Appreciate it. All right. And let's get over here to the next comment here. We're, we've got a lot to cover here, but we're going to go through these as quickly as possible here. Uh, let's see here. All right, by the way, we are expecting some scammers to call, but uh, we'll see if they do it or not. Uh, platinum is used in nitric acid production, which is used for many purposes, including fertilizer. So if more food production is needed, you need more platinum. It is also used heavily in glass making because molten glass doesn't wet platinum. At least at under $1,000 per ounce, it's a crazy steal for longer term stacking, and it's pretty hard floor. Not much below that level, but you do you. Yes, indeed. I, I you know, it, it is interesting, although I don't know how much uh, platinum is used for nitric acid production. My guess is very minuscule amounts, very minuscule amounts. Very good. All right. Silver Honda is still here, a low blood pressure. He doesn't really come in the chat as much, but he'll still comment on the on the channel. 
By the way, good to see Paula G is here. Yes, indeed. All right. And JM Unleashed is with us tonight. And we've got Carrie Taran. I have no platinum, so yeah. Sorry for all the platinum people out there. Perhaps I can get some in the future. There you go. It's never too late, especially with the prices that are probably likely going to stay uh, right around where they're at for a while, according to this latest report. But hey, what could be wrong? Silver supplement. It just gets me excited for buying opportunities of a shopping. Uh, if this is normal um, in morning, actually. So still waiting on a lower premium deal. There you go. All right. Waiting on a lower premium deal for some platinum for moments in trading. I mean, for uh, silver supplement. Thank you, sir. All right. Good to see you guys. We've got uh, Mark B is here. All right. There you go. Good to see Mark B. Mm-hmm. Slurping our way through this. Whoa. Uh, Galtism. Galtism with his first super chat ever. Uh, silvered ID'd if you wish to exceed. Yes, indeed. Silvered ID'd if you wish to exceed. Thank you, Galtism. In fact, yours along with um, the first super chat of the night from the one and only Niels Han Dynasty. We're going to give you, we're going to go through and do seven push ups now for you guys. Thank you. To get the blood flowing here. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's see here. Nice. Indeed. Let's do it. Move some of this stuff out the way. So I can become efficient in my exercise. Here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right. Man, I'm not feeling up to the push ups tonight. Those were harder than I wanted them to be. Uh, all right, yes, indeed. More Drake is here. We're ready. Actually, I took a, a bowel movement earlier in the day, so uh, no bowel movements needed here, so I'm not ready for it yet. I'm pretty regular, though, so luckily mid-morning tomorrow I'll be good to go there. Uh, Juice Boy says, keep stacking and enjoy life when others are suffering. Yes, and pray for those who are suffering. Thank you, Juice Boy. We've got Ryan here says the following on this platinum video he says it's a good idea to have a couple ounces of the other metals in the stack platinum seems to have more uses overall than palladium from what i gather yes and a lot of it because it's been so cheap for so long good to see china mitchell is here welcome china good to see you i uh, want to know what instrument you play in band china all right let's see here and uh, Clear Lake Drive is here. Clear Lake Drive, good to see you. So let's see here. Eric says, I think the EVs are, uh, the EVs, they are uh, rushing with the technology with a good chunk of Americans um, having extremely cold winters. Yep, that's right. It, it's true. Uh, and not faring well in these conditions. I hear dealers are hard pressed to sell out the previous year's supply. Uh, there is no EU law that requires vehicles to have catalytic converters and many other places across the world do not either. What if this changes? Yes, that's true. That could be pick it up again. But most of them do have uh, this. I don't know. I'd be surprised if EU law doesn't require catalytic converters. Uh, very good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, thank you so much, Bal, uh, for the thumbs up and for being here tonight. Welcome to all of you guys. Appreciate you joining us here. Let's uh, proceed as... Uh, witness here we're going to get back up to today's videos here in a moment looks too much like silver actually uh jim shear you should check my video out jim if you go to my channel uh there's you there's uh let's see here platinum if you type platinum silver in the uh in the search i'm trying to think of where it is uh, let's see here. You, there's no way to confuse platinum with silver. So type confuse platinum with silver and watch this video. This will open up your eyes because you, there's no mistaking the two. They are very different, even in their looks, honestly. All right. Puff Puff Epstein, once they book him. Yes, he might be pulling an Epstein once they gets booked. Probably a lot of people can go down uh, for sure. And they maybe think he's untouchable, but apparently he's not untouchable. Uh, 
even with this just Justice Department, which kind of shocks me. And maybe they're taking a gamble because they think they got somebody on the other side. And maybe why they're doing it, they're willing to let some of theirs go. And so, still could be Epstein, though. You never know. Uh, Anxious Stacker says here, I think once my fractional tube of gold eagles is full, I might stack a fractional tube of platinum. I never started on platinum since there's so much silver and gold I'm focusing on stacking. And I know I only have so much I can stack. So I need to focus on one or the other. Definitely hoping to see the gold price come down so I can start to get last few coins. I need to finish. Here's hoping for big dips. Yep, I hear you. Totally understand that. That's why you just dip your toe in just slightly with a couple of pieces here and there. World Money Wins is here. Good to see World Money Wins. Welcome, sir. Uh, okay, he's the lead singer and rhythm guitarist for F37. Oh, nice. That's the name of the band? Congratulations, China. That's awesome. What kind of, what kind of music is it? That's awesome. The band's name is F37. Nice. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Very cool. And we've got Metal Seer. It says, wasn't platinum more expensive than gold until recent years? Yes, it was. That's why MX has a card called Platinum, which has higher status than gold. That's exactly right. You nailed it, Metal Seer. Keep on stacking, says Cheech, says Cherokee Cowboy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where is Metal Seer tonight? Usually we see him here. Um, Will says, I've sold most of my platinum last year and will sell more this week. Okay, I guess he's wanting to get out of there. All right. And uh, the White Mamba says, Platinum needs to have an inverse relationship with the gold, in my opinion. Platinum is as a result of a direct competitor to gold. Yes. I, I still think it's different enough than gold, even when it was higher. Uh, but I don't think it was necessarily competing with it, per se. But anyway, it's very good. All right, let's see here. Michael K. I only have two-thirds of an ounce of platinum. Uh, and two one-third Marlins. Okay, just in case uh, it would take off back in the day, but they are nice to look at. Yep, I've got one of those too. They are nice pieces. No one really knows. I don't think the screen revolution will last. Never know how the tech will come along. You're right, Michael K. Exactly right. Jessica is here. Welcome, Jessica. Jamie Fox is here too. Welcome, Jamie. Good to see you as always. Mm -hmm. All right. And let's see here. Uh, and thumbs up from uh, the Global Warmer. Thank you. Uh, reflective Metal says here, nonetheless, stack water, stack dry goods, stack gasoline. If you do these things, you will sleep better at night. That's for sure. At 36 to 1, it's really something to celebrate. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 36 to 1. What is 36 to 1? Uh, Low Bowl Merviova says, Peak EV, can I have some gas? Can I have a gas lawnmower again? I know, exactly. There you go. As gas lawnmower is a good thing. Good thing. Good thing indeed. All right. Thank you. Uh, CCT's posted a link to World Money Wins channel. Definitely check them out. Thank you, CCT. Appreciate that. And uh, there's a global warmer. He's with us, hanging loose tonight. Appreciate that. Fred Farkle, tell it, tell us, Al. At first, I got the wrong channel. All right. You are here. You are here. Sale, says Charles. Yep, that's right. It's on sale. Good time to buy. And uh, let's see here. Richard Conton Jr. says here on this video about Platinum's bad news. He says, I own Platinum, but I've never really been interested in it. I buy a 10th ounce kookaburra every year. I buy every silver and gold platinum kookaburra in every size. So you're just collecting, right? But I lucked into an insane amount of platinum many years ago. It was as close to stealing while still being legal. I'd be interested to know that story. In-person auctions got crazy over the internet. Oh, here comes a scammer. Hold on a second here. Here comes a scammer. Hi, Silver Wolverine. Hello? Hey, am I speaking with Charles? Yes, this is Charles. Hey, Charles, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm also good. My name is Daniel, calling you from Legal Health Center, and I got your application regarding the claim. May I know which lawsuit have you filed? Which claim are we talking about? I've filled out a lot of applications yes. for a lot of claims. Which one is this? I believe you have filed a lawsuit, and as I can check, it is on the hold, and you haven't received your compensation till yet. 
Yes, right? but I need to know which lawsuit we're talking about here, Alex. Yeah, um, the lawsuit I'm talking about is talcum powder, Johnson and Johnson's. Oh powder. yes, talcum powder. Yes, the talcum powder lawsuit. I got a big oh, rash okay. on my butt. I put the talcum powder underneath my scrotum, and on my okay. butt cheeks, and it caused okay. a big rash for the talcum powder when I put the powder okay. there. So I want to sue because if they would have put silver in the talcum powder, everything would have been okay. So I'm suing for them to put silver in the talcum powder because I do not want it to make my uh, my scrotum itch. The the genitalia, the lower genitalia, there's two of them, and they were okay. really itching me like crazy, and I don't like that. So I want to try to get compensation for that because it's not fun to have an itchy uh, scrotum sac. You don't understand? need to worry. I will be definitely help you to get your compensation. Thank you. Thank okay, you. you don't need to get worried for the same. Okay? I don't want to be worried like, because my balls itch here, okay? I don't want to be worried. Okay, no worry. Uh, I will be uh, rearranging a call from the attorney. And may I know, do you have that question answer which has been sent to you? I have not, but I also want to check while we're here. Can we check on the lawsuit for the silver tampons too? Okay. Can we check on that? Okay, I will be sending you the question answer. You just have to stick with that question answer. When you will be receiving a call from the attorney, you have to just say according to that which I am be sending to you. Okay? okay, can you repeat that? And but this time, can you, you repeat be... it in English? Okay, say what Sorry? you just said, but say what you just said, but please repeat it in English this time instead of Hindi. Yeah, so I'm saying you that I will be sending you a question and answer. You just have to stick with that question and answer. But what about okay? my itchy balls? What about my itchy scrotum? My nutsack? What about that? What about the itching in my nutsack? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna what am I gonna do about that, sir? Yes, so they will be asking you the questions. You have to say according to that answer. Okay. And you will be eligible to get that compensation up to seventy thousand dollars. Seventeen thousand dollars. Does this include the yeah. lawsuit for the silver tampons? And you don't have to pay any single penny. What about it's the free of cost you free of cost a lawsuit and I will be guiding you for each and everything. I'm paying for it with my balls that are itching. Each and every one of them. Yes, all. How many do I have I, in my scrotum sack, sir? I do how many do I have? I do understand that. I know. I'm asking you a question, issues. Alex. How many balls yes. do I have in my ball sack? How many? How many? Hey, how many are there, sir? How many? Yes. How many? Yes. How many what? How many? Uh, how many testicles do I have in my scrotum sac, sir? I need to know the answer to that quickly. Um, like, I'm not aware about it. What? I'm not aware about it. Like, I know. I'm, 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 I told you how many were in there before. I wanted to see if you were listening to me. How many are there inside of my scrotum? I need to know. Okay, so no need to worry. Like I'm, 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 I'm starting. I'm starting to worry. I'm starting to worry because you can't tell me how many I have. How many do I you have? Listen. How many do you have? How many do you have? Okay, so I'm sorry to say you. I can't show you that detail. Okay, it, this is the recorded line from the legal help. Right, I understand and that, I sir. I request you to be in a professional manner as well. I need you to be professional too. I need you to tell me how many testicles you have inside of your scrotum right now. At this very moment in time. Charlie's, I'm asking you, and I repeat again, to be a professional, okay? Okay, I, I am. I'm, I'm being professional, sir. I'm asking you a, pro I'm asking you a medical question. This is a legitimate question that that requires an answer from you. Can this, you please help me out with your email address? Yes, I can help you out with it. I can set one up for yes, you. I tell you what, I'll set address. you up. I'll set you up with an email address if you tell me how many uh, testicles are inside of your scrotum at this very moment. I'm responding to your scrotum at this very moment. What? Go ahead. Okay, you drop me a message for the same, like what question are you asking? So I will just check it out for the same. Okay, okay, check. Okay, you can do the Google just search drop on me this. A message, I'm on the line. Open up the Google, sir. Open up the Google and okay. type this into the search bar. I want you to type in How many? How many testicles? Can you please spell it out for me? T E S T I C K E S L E S right. R -E S T I C. Yeah, S T E C S T I L E L M N O P. Are okay. inside of a scrotum sac. Are inside. You want me to spell R? 
Hello. Yes, I'm. You want me to spell? Yeah. Okay. How many testicles are inside of a scrotum sac? Testicular. Put that in the Google. Put it in. Uh, put it in uh, quotation marks so that it does a search specifically for that term. How many testicles in body? You mean to say? Uh, how many testicles inside of a scrotum sac? S C R O T U M or something S like that. S C R U T U M scrotum sac. S C R. Yeah, S C R O T U M T T T T as in testicle. U M. Yeah. Space sac. S A C. That's good enough. Just put S A C there, okay? Now press the enter key. Okay. Quickly, quickly. What's the answer? Okay. What's the answer? So the the answer is like I can't show you that answer. Like you have, you have told me the same, so I will suggest you the same. Like you can have a Google for the same. Well, I know, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not by the Google. That's why I'm asking you to Google it. How many yes, testicles so many. are inside of a scrotum sac? Use okay. that phrase. Or you could put so, it in chat GPT as well. You can use artificial intelligence to answer the question as well. Okay, Charlie, what I'm asking you, okay? Yes. What but, I'm asking you is, okay, you want to raise a lawsuit, right? I and do, I do. But in order to do this, we need to, we need to figure this out very quickly, sir. We have to get through the basics first. We need to find out how many testicles are inside of a scrotum sac. There are two, sir. There's two. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I... Two. Yes. Thank you, sir. You did it. Now we can proceed with the lawsuit. Thank you. I like that. Hopefully they're not as big as basketballs. Okay. So what's the issue now? What's the issue? And the issue now is we need a sack of silver for the lawsuit for silver huh? tampons. We need a sack of silver. Well, I'm helping you to get the compensation. Okay. Please give me the compensation. I want to be paid in silver. Pardon? I want to be paid in silver, sir. Because we're going to need it. Okay. We're going to need the silver for the silver tampons. Okay. So I will okay. be providing you the compensation. And you can do one thing, sir. You can buy that. I can buy the compensation? Is that just the one no, thing? No. I'm giving you a compensation amount. Okay. okay. In that compensation is that, amount, you but can wait a second. It. I need to ask this. Is it, just, is it just the one thing or is it each and everything? What each and everything, like? Is it, is it just the one thing? Is it do one thing or is it each and everything? Each and everything. Okay, so. okay. Each and every. Thank you. Just wanted to get the clarification on that. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. Now, what do we do now, sir? What's the next? I'm ready to go. I've got my coffee here. I'm I'm all ready to go. I'm reared up. I'm I can even do push-ups for you if you want me to. Hello. I'll even do them for you for free. Go ahead, sir. Yes. Yeah. Please tell me your email address. Uh, tell me. Okay, my email address is yt. Kitty, YT, YT Kitty 47. Y is in Yak, T is in Tamil Nadu? Yeah, a T is in hot tamale, yeah. Sorry? That's okay, you don't have to apologize. You, you're apologizing a lot. Y is in Yak? Y is in Yucky, yeah. Y is in Yucky. Yucky? Yucky. T is in, T as, in uh, as in Ted, like Ted Kennedy. Ted. Okay. And 47 as in the atomic number for silver. 47, uh, 46, or 47. No, no, it's not 46, it's 47. Which 47? Kitty, K-I-T-T-Y. K-I-T-T-Y, that's how we do, yeah. K-I-T-T-Y. K-I-T-T-Y. Yeah, K-I-T-T-Y. K as in kilo, I as in India, T as in table, table, Y as in yak, right? T as in tamale, again, or turkey. Sorry? And, no, don't have to apologize. You keep apologizing. You don't have to keep apologizing. It's okay. Okay. Maybe? Okay, Kitty at CompuServe.net. Oh. CompuServe is K an up and coming K ISP. Key as in kilo. Key as in kilo. I as in indigo. Uh, oh. T as in terrestrial. T as in. Oh, I might be able to get him back. He just got cut off. All right. Maybe they'll call. Maybe let's see if it goes back. Scammers calling us, Jim Lewis. We like to mess with the scammers when they call. And that was not a scheduled call, by the way. That, that one just came out of the blue. Or out of the black. However you wanted, or out of the red. 
or out of something. So anyways, in-persons auctions get crazy before the internet. The 90s were a great decade. I bought $300 in Susan B. Anthony coins for $100. Platinum sold for silver prices. Wow. Those are great. Yes. Man, good idea, Richard. You did well. Very, very well. He ghosted me. He he ghosted me. That's right. He sure did, Paula. And thank you, Metal Seer, for the inspiration of the silver tampons and silver sack. That was good. I got to do extra to try to entertain Metal Seer when they get the scammer calls because he's not a big fan of them. So, so thank you, uh, Metal Seer. You were the man. Good to see you, by the way. And let's see here. Fred Farkle says, don't forget uh, copper shells or AR-15. Actually, those shells are brass. And the bullets themselves would be copper-plated or copper-coated uh, lead. Neil would say otherwise. That's right. Neil would on this. You're right. Matthew Crestley. My stepdaughter's school district was closed today due to bomb threats. Oh, man, that's pretty scary. That is pretty scary, especially in this day and age. I hope they caught whoever did it. All right. Let's see here. We've got Fred Farkle says, The progressive left has Reverend Al. We stackers have Rev Sal. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. Happy Easter. Yes, it is getting close to Easter. Indeed, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Stack Boy is here. All right. Welcome, Stack Boy. Good to see you. Yeah, we did push ups earlier. And we'll get them push ups going again if we get them more super chats and PayPal friends and family. Let's say Peter Burke says that premiums on two coins was more than an ounce of gold in mid January. The best thing about platinum is if you turn it into jewelry, people think it's silver. Yes. Upon just a very uh, casual glance, that's true. Thank you, Hot Plains Richard. So good to see you. Welcome. And Mark Bernard is here. And so good. I'm glad you guys are sticking with me here as we march on through. We've got Michael Phillip. I was thinking about CCT while watching this video. Too bad he didn't find it. I know. Exactly. We love CCT. Uh, we also call him Cyber Curtain Twitcher for short. All right. There you go. And we've got uh, Clinic Consulting Centers on this video about Platinum, says the following. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can make it happen here. As long as associating Platinum with the car industry, the price will continue to decrease. Platinum will be used for other industries. Yes, I think it will. We'll see what happens for sure. If we see, uh, uh, if we see the other uh, technology that I've talked about, hydrogen fuel cells really take off, then we'll see that occur. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, Nighthawk. Nighthawk says the following here. On this Platinum video. We're almost done with these. But before we do that, Metal Seer with a $2 Super Chat. Donald J. Trump, True Social Network is up 16%. That's right, I did hear about that. Like $6.8 billion worth, uh, the stock is worth, right? I mean, total. That's something else. Up 16% on the NASDAQ. That's pretty amazing. Thank you, Metal Seer. I think people are sending a message. What do you think? Thank you, Metal Seer, for that. Pretty wild indeed. Zardoz is here. Very good. All right. The Gong Show. I tried to remember Chuck Barris. I'm going to put the gong in. I need to watch some of those old episodes. They were good. Oh, man. All right. So, uh, precious metal pricing doesn't make sense to begin with, he says here. Um, platinum group metals are rarer than gold, yet it's cheaper. Yet gold is rarer than silver, but silver has more than 10 times uses of the both of them. And since supply and demand uh, is supposed to determine price based off the laws of supply and demand, silver should be the most because of the real mining supply. Actually, that does not relate to demand. Uh, the demand is higher due to uses. Actually, there's a lot more of it. Um, and that 7 to 1 and the, the amount of it uh, really equates to where these demand and things are. Plus, there's a lot of recycling going on. Over the long course of history, there's still a lot of silver that's being recycled. Some of that probably is not being tracked as much as, as it should. But anyways, then platinum and gold. My opinion, because uh, the top 1% of laws supply and demand out the window and the price the precious metals is determined by who controls the COMEX. And I understand that, but the thing is, is um, if there was really huge demand crunch on silver, I think we would see the prices. And that may be part of what's contributing to actually it going up slightly, because the biggest uh, deficit we saw was last year. And now the prices are rising slightly on that. But it's probably going to take a lot more than that. Um, and we also have some things that are going on in China that I talked about. 
the, the supply demand fundamentals for some commodities are very complex. So, um, and this is it, but good post, good, good, good comment anyway. I certainly see where you're coming from, but I do think that rarity does not, as, as Silver Wolverine said, rarity does not necessarily equate to the, um, um, to price. Anyways, Jeff Nelson is here waving to us. Cemetery Shop is still here. And uh, NYC says the following here. Uh, you can take one gram of platinum and make a wire a mile long. Everyone let that sink in. Two ounce today, three ounce from the roll maples, baby. Well, I didn't know, but I don't know if, if you maybe mean one ounce. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look that up. But that is, I mean, it is malleable to a degree, but uh, gold is much more malleable, I think. So I think it's probably likely going to be the case with gold than it is for, for platinum. But anyways, uh, I digress. Let's see here. Mm. Let's get over to, yeah, I think we could stick here. Uh, let me just uh, go up here to Brian Smith. Don't worry, I'm not the one who went out and bought a lump of gold on my credit card. I haven't got one. Uh, I, don't, I don't do what any YouTube channel or political or TV tells me. I thought we were supposed to be free. Yep, exactly. Be free. That's true. Exactly right. Be free. Great show. Thank you, Ricky Milliken. Thank you so much, sir. And Jim, uh, commenting on my full silver stack video, Jim Contanzero says the following. <clears throat> I only have 10 kilos in the past year. I was able to quit smoking and gambling to my silver collection. Way to go. That's a much healthier choice. In more ways than one. Congratulations on that. That is awesome. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, the tribe says that platinum is highly ductile. Okay, uh, but is ductility is the same as malleability, though? Uh, I think there is a difference, a technical difference. I don't know what it is, uh, but any, but yeah, good uh, good point there. Thank you. All right. Uh, don't do Matthew says the premium and spread is a bit of a turnoff too. Yep, that is true. Yep, you're right. That is it definitely can be a turnoff. Uh, Pamela Gray here on this video. We're getting closer. This is on Stop Buying Gold and Silver Do This Instead video. It says the following. Uh, I took my grandson to McDonald's yesterday, went through the drive-thru. We both bought a meal. A simple combo. Cost over 24 bucks. I enjoyed the time with him and didn't mind the uh, amount, except it was a cheap combo with cold fries and burger. All I could think about was how we could have ate at a decent restaurant for only a few bucks more or bought one ounce round. Uh, things are getting so expensive, it just sucks that the pleasure right out of life. I hear you. Still enjoying family time. Family and God first. Amen, Pamela. Thank you for your for your uh, thoughts there, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Thank you to those who purchased one of the silver testing slides recently and also to No IQ for his friendship. Yes, very cool. And I tell you what, folks, the Cyber Curtain Twitcher silver slides are amazing, and he does a great job at, at those. So thank you to everybody who, who did buy one of those. You're never going to be disappointed. They're all handmade, excellent quality, and also special shout out and thanks to No IQ. He's the one that inspired this video. He's been a great friend, the Cyber Curtain Twitcher and I. Just a great guy indeed. Thank you so much, No IQ, and thank you for all those who bought the CCT Silver Slide. Check out the CCT Silver Slide over at Cyber Curtain Twitcher's channel. Don't go to CCT's channel. Go to Cyber Curtain Twitcher's channel instead. Uh, Metal Theater, $2 Super Chat, Factoid, Comex Trades are 200 times the physical silver. Yeah, it's crazy. And you know what? The the, the amount of um, uh, 200 times the physical silver, does that mean that the trades, the the uh, the paper markets with that, that's not including the SLV, right? Metal Seer? So I owe you, I think, four push-ups. Let me give you four push-ups uh, for uh, Metal Seer there. Thank you, Metal Seer. Let's do it. Four push-ups. Last two super chats here, so we get caught up here. One, two, three, and four. All right. Thank you. And I love how Metal Seer does that. He drops cool little factoids like that um, every once in a while. It's pretty neat. And uh, it just gives you some perspective on things for sure. 
Uh, so anyways, let's see here. Very good. Let's get over here to Martin Van Pimmelen on this platinum video here. We're getting closer now, folks. Uh, he says, I think when the green new grift is over and most of the people have figured out that EVs and climate change is just one huge Ponzi scheme, we will be using natural gas and propane much more. Natural gas power generation is one of the most cleanest forms of energy and transportation we have today. In a few years, a lot of EVs are going to start to pile up in landfills as toxic waste and heavy metals and will cost more to recycle them as it is to build them, not to mention a huge fire risk they, they, as they start to decay. It might take some time, but I think platinum will be back and it never hurts to have a bit of it. That's true. Good point. Very good point indeed. All right. C4 is here. Shadow work is here. We've missed shadow work. Good to see you. And MG, yeah, believe it or not, I'm not, believe it or not, I'm not using my knees, believe it or not. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, CCT, someone recently bought uh, my spalted ash slide, which is one of, which is a one-off. Nice. Very, very cool. That's awesome. And Clock Fixer, Clock Fixer comes in right out of the bat. Boom. With his first ever super chat, give him a warm thank you. Thank you, Clock Fixer. For ten dollars, clock fixer, nineteen sixty four. I'm gonna drop and give you ten push-ups. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that so much. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I'm glad I'm not doing a uh, push-up sale tonight because I'm not feeling it. Doing these push-ups tonight, they're harder than usual. And besides, no IQ is here too. Thank you, Clock Fixer. I appreciate that, my friend. Butterfly in Effect is here. Welcome, Butterfly in Effect. Good to see you. Let's get to D Glasses comment here. And by the way, if you're just joining us tonight, um, after this live stream is over, you might want to rewind. We had a pretty fun scammer call. It's a, little, it's a little bit crude. It wasn't meant to go in that direction, but it did. So pardon me for that. But anyways, uh, let's see here. Um, D Glass says, most of the platinum reserves are in the enemy countries. Platinum is on its way up. The world mints are not producing the variety of platinum coins that they have been minting over the last few years. I've not seen any platinum eagles out this year. Nor have I seen plat fractional platinum Britannias. Actually, I think the 10th ounces have been out for the platinum Britannias. But it was as hard to predict demand in industry and consumer markets when the world slips into a depression, depression in the foreseeable future. Yes, it's true. Oh, and by the way, uh, no IQ. I did get your email. And I'm going to respond to that. I just it was a crazy day, but I will get to, to that. For sure. And look at this, folks. Let's give a warm welcome to Really Weiwei as a, and I don't think I've seen you before, as an honorary citizen of the Salvation Nation. You're the second one tonight to join on your own accord. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wow. Very, very cool. All right. Thank you for joining and welcome. Good to see you. All right. Let's see here. And Landrake says, Platinum is undervalued in my opinion. I still think it is too. I really do. I think uh, sooner or later it's going to pop. I don't know what that's going to mean or how high it's going to go. I think my prediction of $1,200, which is I think what I did, what I had earlier, probably will not happen. But anyways. All right. Let's see here. Uh, we have an algorithmic greeting from uh, Mike Kitten is a Grandmaster, which I appreciate. And let's see in this video about platinum. I must have missed a lot of these comments when I looked because I thought I had answered most of these. Platinum performance can't be much worse than silver. There's no electrical vehicle revolution and hydrogen fuel cells are even more dangerous. And there's no reliable or adequate fueling station infrastructure in place to be seen in the EV fiasco. Sal throwing in the towel on platinum and almost guarantees it will excel in the future. Well, I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm far from it. I, that was not even hinted on in this in this in this video. Professional investors don't use dollar cost to averaging buying commodities. Dollar cost averaging is a sure way to stay upside down with your precious metal buys for a longer time. Well, I couldn't disagree with you more and have other people who are um, uh, who have practiced it. I've talked to one is uh, is Tucson Bubba uh, and he has actually documented his dollar cost averaging 
just straight up dollar cost averaging. It, it works. It, it is definitely a works thing. So, sorry, my friend. Uh, uh, I disagree with with it, with that completely. Uh, and let's see here. Uh, Stephen Nelson says, or the Federal Reserve decides to make a one trillion dollar coin out of platinum, then platinum will have some sort of value more than the gold. And I heard the U.S. Mint is going to discontinue platinum coins. And palladium coins, there's a few misspelled words, but if you guys will catch a drift. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't have heard something about that they may discontinue uh, platinum this year and palladium, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, wait, okay, Shadow Work has just sent a $5 uh, PayPal friends and family. Thank you so much. He's been very kind. He says, Shadow Work, no exercise needed. Been enjoying your videos and streams from the shadows. No worries. That's why he's Shadow Work. I appreciate that, my friend. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate that so much. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, if you type my name out, I'll see questions. It's tough. Uh, there's a lot of people in here, so I apologize if I mention it. But if you type the name out with an at symbol or just type it out with no space, then I'll see it. Um, so I'll be in the lookout uh, for sure. And uh, let's see here. Let's get back over here. Let's see what we've got here. All right. Um, okay. Let's get over here too. Uh, to this. Mark Gamberg here on this says the following. Uh, let's get over here. What is this going on? Something happening here. Let's get. Okay, here we go. Oh, dang it. Hold on a second here. There we go. Just like Zardoz did. He typed a name out and I can see it. It turns orange on my end and I can see it much easier that way. Or like a 99 cent super chat will do it too. It lights up. But uh, I don't buy it, Sal. You said South Africa loses money mining the lion's share of the world's platinum. But when you say the world don't won't need it, U.S. and British and American and Australian mint assign the unit of account to double gold. Hold on to your hand and know the value. And there's probably a thousand times less platinum above ground than gold. Well, I don't know about that. It's about 15 times more rare than gold, not a thousand times. So you can't get gold at a certain point in time. Then do you think you'll be able to get platinum? Not for a song like you can now. Uh, well, the thing is, is the denomination... Ignore that completely. Those are completely arbitrary at this point. Completely arbitrary. <laughs> Pete Diddy needs a guitar player. That's right. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. And we've got the Platinum B says, I've only been buying one metal lately, and it ain't gold and silver. That's right. We know the Platinum Beast has got it. Nice. Uh, John Alani Baker says, Her gold was going to pull back before the revaluation to $1,600. I doubt it's going to get that low. I'd be shocked and surprised. Very good. All right. I right, thank you. The CCT has posted a link to the PayPal. If you do send a PayPal, please put your um your account name your so that I can uh, thank you here publicly. Don't want to use your real name. So thank you so much. Armistice Day is here. Christopher Reed says, "Do you have any platinum larger than than one ounce, like a five ounce or ten ounce kilo bar?" Good question, Christopher Reed. I do not have anything larger than than a one ounce. Unfortunately, I would like to do it, but uh. I don't know. It's 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 a yeah. That's a it'd be tough. I almost thought about doing it when, when there was a dip, getting a hundred gram platinum bar, but I didn't do it. All right, here's a trivia question from Metal Seer. What was the all-time high price for platinum? A nine hundred eighty-five dollars. B eleven hundred thirty-five dollars. C fifteen fifty-three. D nineteen fifty-two. Or E twenty-two fifty-two. First correct answer wins. Yep, because I know the answer, so I'm not going to answer. Yes, indeed. First correct answer wins. Very good. All right. Let's see here. And by the way, Rob Moran is here. Good to see you. Appreciate you all being with me tonight. Good trivia question. And uh, Stackboy says, hey, Sal. Hello. Hello. All right. Oh, man. Silver Awesome 13 just bought all the new Coke Silver offerings. Nice. Nice. He's going to snort it all up his nose. All right. And let's see here. All right. We've got um, EDB3877. Uh, I visited the largest coin shop with 100 miles of my home a few months ago and had a lot of gold and silver for sale, but not a single ounce of platinum or palladium. 
um, since shops tend to sell what the people in their area want, that does not bode well for sales of the Platinum Group medals. I didn't look elsewhere for these medals to buy some. Figuring the largest shop did not have any in stock, it was because it didn't sell well enough to bother on keeping it. So, yep, that's right. It is not as liquid. That is that is true. Very good. All right. Did somebody, um, whoever was meant to ask me the question, did they ask me the question to type my name? I'm looking. I'm keeping my eye on the chat in case they do. But good to see Cole Marsh is here. Welcome, Cole Marsh. Let's do a slurp of some coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see here. And let's see what we've got here. Ken D says... Uh, just one guy here, but the chart looks bearish. And to watch to see if there's $840 holds. MACD turning bearish, and then again, there's the security of buying it, not having any. You won't miss the $60 for the peace of mind. I'm sort of a silver stacker, but I have learned to let prices come to me. Be glad I got a little when I did, and I could. I'm speaking only for myself. Yep, that's a, that's a good strategy. Let the prices come to you. Rob Moran does not have any local coin shops around, and I'm sorry to hear that. All right, very good. Tube Supio is here. Welcome. And let's see here. We've got uh, Ken D also saying here, always said on Palladium, I don't want any of the high prices. I'm told people if it goes below 2000 and you have any, sell and don't look back. And here we are. Tell you what, you would have sold, you still made some money if you bought it cheap. I bought some platinum uh, at around $200 an ounce, $200 dollars an ounce. Uh, Dave Supers, why are the gold miners down when gold is up? Makes no sense to me. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know exactly what's going on there, but I think it means they're undervalued too, right? All right. Let's see here. Oh, the, uh, Riley Weiwei with a five quid super chat with their first. He became a channel member now with the first super chat here. Can I get your opinion or have you seen the Irish Tree of Life gold and silver coins? They are new and could become very popular. Ooh, that's a good question. I've not seen. I've heard of the Tree of Life gold and silver coins, but those are exclusives over to SD Bullion, but not. Are these from... The Irish Mint, I've not seen those. I'll have to be on the lookout for those. It become very popular. Um, yeah, let's see here. Hold on a second. And just for you, I'm going to look these up here. Uh, I'm checking here. And they're from Ireland, right? Uh, let's see here. I'm not seeing it in the Dublin Mint office. Let's see here. Gold layered metal, but it's a gold layered metal. I don't know if that's exactly right. 24 karat layered and 24 karat gold. Uh... But I'm not seeing anything. It's just, but this is, yeah, I don't know if I'm seeing it right. Is it the Celtic Legends? Uh, I'll have to look that up later. Uh, all right, Metal Seer says, Congratulations, World Money Wins. The all-time high, high price for platinum was reached on March 4th, 2008, when it reached $2,252 a troy ounce. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow, wow. That is something else. Yeah, Ireland, let's see here. I think this is something else. I'm going to show this, but I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it, is it? Is this it? That's really cool looking, though, but that's a gold layer collectible coins. As he put euros, okay. Oh, he's from euros, okay. So, all right, that's from euros, thank you. Five euros. Thank you. That's right. I'm sorry. I said five five quid, five pound. That's right. Thank you. There's an island. There you go. So I don't think these are they, if I'm not mistaken. 
But those are look those look really cool. Is that the design? We'll see if he's if it, if that's the design that he's talking about. Let's see here. All right, we'll we'll come back to that in a moment. So Butterfly and Effect says the following here: Good information, Sal. I'm somewhat taken off from the metals in the Lenten season. Totally understandable. It's been difficult, but it's been a good exercise for me. I think a well-rounded approach is good for everyone. Yep, everything in moderation. St. Benedict, exactly right. That's true. Yep, you're right. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's got a gold bank. Okay, very cool. All right, let's see. He's found them. J.M. Alicia's found them, so everybody can click on that link to see. And I'm going to open it up in an off-screen here and see what it looks like. Ah, ah, that is nice. And it is Euro. Cool, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I like that. All right. Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right. Yeah, this is the silver coin. Let, let me just pull this up so you guys can see it, too. So you don't have to click on the link. I'll have to recapture, but thank you, JM Unleashed. This is it. Right key, right key, or there it is. That's the new one ounce bullion coin from Ireland. That is really cool. I like that. From Ireland. So thank you, sir. Appreciate you sharing that. That's really cool. All right, let's see here. There it is. Pretty detailed. Yeah, pretty nice. Here's what the other side looks like. I'm not as big a fan on this side. I guess that's going back to some of the early uh, cryptic writings or whatever. But, yeah. Got the harp there. Pretty cool. There's an actual image of the coin. Nice reverse proof look to it. And yeah, kind of cool. Does that look like a pretzel to you? I don't know. Anyways, all right. Or does this side look like a pretzel? I don't know. I guess it could. Yeah, in the middle there, that looks like a pretzel. Yeah. It's a Celtic pretzel for sure. All right. Very good. All right, that's cool. Thank you. Let me get my boilerplate again. As I don't know if I got that before, but let's do it. Uh, we've got China. Mitchell, thanks, Al. Awesome info. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And uh, let's see. PM Gallery is here. Check out, uh, check out PM Gallery's newest work of art. Really, really cool stuff. On the city of New York. J. Rad, so if Platinum is involved, maybe a good buying opportunity. You may want to buy when things look ugly. There you go. That's true. User says, I think 50% silver, 20% gold, and 30% collectible silver coins. 50K average, uh, one year income. All right. That's a good good breakout for sure. Colloidal silver says, fits in bender. Yeah, colloidal silver, definitely. Good stuff there. Excellent video. Thank you, Serpent Silver. As we march on ahead here to the newer coins we got doom shrek gaga says wait the fed for the fed to cut rates and you will see platinum rally at a higher rate than au than gold it'll be interesting to see what i don't think that's going to happen but it could we'll find out we'll find out michael rodriguez i prefer platinum over gold not only because it's unloved but because it's 10 times more scarce it's actually about 15 times back bernard um Back burner art says, well said, sir. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for checking it out. Appreciate it. And uh, let's see here. Mike Harsh, I did answer that, your comment earlier. Yes, uh, I mentioned it in the, in the video. I, I responded to your comment about that. Uh, you should have gotten a response to that. Um, mistakes were made stacking. Who signed up to become a channel member, which I appreciate. Says, keep talking it down for me, Sal. Beep, beep, beep. You constantly teach and preach. 
to buy went out of favor. Seems like now is a great time. I've purchased 3.4 ounces this year. I'm hoping it stays low so we can keep accumulating at these low prices. Yep, that's the time to do it for sure. Yep, it sure is. Um, and uh, let's see here. Gold Chick is here. Good to see Gold Chick. And 79 is here with us tonight. Welcome, 79. Good to see you. Let's see here. User says, sell gold by Karen's. Example, on America, U.S. Gold Eagles is not pure gold. It's 22. Karen Gold. I think you meant carrot. Carrot. Yes, it's carrot. Not Karen. If it was Karen Gold, it would be complaining all the time. All right, very good. Let's see here. Uh, Steve says, Berkshire has $160 billion in cash. Right now, they could buy 25 years of mine supply. All the industrial stuff is complete garbage. Uh, yep, that's true. They could, but they wouldn't and they won't. But anyways, good to see you guys. Hugh Jazzle is here. I've got to be careful how I say that name. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. And XTTORQ, the gold and silver are... To sit in my possession till needed. That is what I think is best. Not excessively. That's right. I think you're right. I agree with that completely. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Fast Impala 2015 says this. Let me get over here to make this more applicable. He says, another great video style, but I do have to say silver is king. And the reason why I say that is because it is the only metal... On the periodic table that has the most widely used capabilities. That's right. In terms of usage, no other metal compares. You're right. Uh, and the prices should reflect that. I know you would think they would. But uh, I think actually in a sense, that is kind of working against silver's prices. For that very reason. Because it's so diversified. All right. I know that seems backwards, but anyways. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Glad you guys are here with us tonight. Uh, so Patch Jackson, truth, I spent money to see my spud, my grandpa spud. All right. Nice. Nice. This message is the message. Family, do it. That's right, Soul Patch. Exactly right. And uh, Soul Patch says, uh, the most important stacking vid I've ever seen. Well, thank you, Soul Patch. I appreciate that. This is family on this one. And uh, Sal Mastro Polo, I have about 40% silver and gold. And 60% physical cash. Probably a good idea. That's a good balanced portfolio. All right. And let's see here. We've got John Bannon. That's why I'm always mentioning prepping in my comments. Love it. Uh, have enough gold and silver. There's other things that we need. That's right. Exactly. True that. Yes, indeed. Glad you guys are here. Good crowd tonight. I appreciate you guys joining me. Hmm. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, China. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, the scammer call. All right. Now I just wish I could play rhythm guitar and sing at the same time. That would be pretty cool. So you've got a great talent. All right. Let's see here. He says here, best video, probably the best video you have done that I've seen. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And second person to say that. Thank you very much. And uh, Remo says, that's really bad news for the paper traders. Traders would always buy at $900 and sell at 1000 The paper traders would say it was easy money. Yes, indeed, they would. Paper trading is definitely a lot cheaper. I'm saving for 3D printer. Those aliens need arms. Yes, indeed, that's right. Good job, for sure. And we've got... Uh, Plumber Bannock says, for sure, Sal, we all need balance in our lives, and it's easy to get caught up. In the whole wealth creation mentality. Yes. Yep. It sure is. It sure is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, CT, my co-worker, she is really enjoying her life with a first class airplane ticket. Nice. Four grand. Very, very cool. And uh, let's see here. We've got uh, Edwin Tan. Hey, Sal, first. Number one, thank you on this video from this morning. Or... Uh, no, from yesterday. Hey, Sal from Chuck and Plata. Hello, we're getting up there. Finally, we're getting there. David G, thanks, Sal. Arbitrage is sucking the West dry. Slip on, bro. Yes. It's insane in the membrane. Uh, we have got uh, 
something Wong. Yeah, indeed, that's right. Uh, talking about China here. Uh, John Bathia says a precious metal reset may be coming by the East. This will be the EU and the USA throw us into disarray, set them into disarray. Very well could. We'll see here. Thank you. Code name Tango. Slurp on. We're going to do that. Chicky Chicky Bow Wow, as Count Slurpila says. Uh, Losion Lovo. China also has bought a large amount of platinum for hydrogen vehicle use, which is vastly growing in popularity there. Now, I did not know that hydrogen vehicle use is growing there. That's pretty wild. That's good to know. Uh, KJ, I'm still new to following the market and enjoy learning about what I'm seeing. Thank you for your analysis and helping me learn. No problem, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. For sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deathmon said, the worst cannot afford to manipulate the markets. The West cannot afford to manipulate the markets. As well as before, weapons now contain several ounces in modern missiles. When you no longer mine it and depend on mines outside your control, expect to pay more. The COMEX took a hit during the pandemic. Now it's being hit by, by the military for supply. I don't know if it's all military. My guess is a lot of Indian buying as well, probably. I heard about that civil Wolverine about Ronald McDaniel. It's just crazy what's going on over there. And they capitulated to, to, uh, to them. And they don't have very many, much big of an audience. If I were the executive, I'd say, you better, you better uh, just uh, deal with it or you're out. But you know they're 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 lefty networks, so they don't they don't think that way. They don't think like normal people think. Amy Oakley, your stack is beautiful this morning. I've never seen a silver wrench. Gorgeous. Thank you for all the research you do. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Yeah, I I mean there's probably a little bit of silver and some missiles, but not anything more than just the electronics that are wire that wire them to circuit boards or whatever but so probably only a couple ounces at the most the very most not 500 ounces like they've been like they've been saying selected silver sire sell suppose silver got to 40 dollars in china price is 45 dollars how could we ever sell at some of that to sell some at that price um uh well uh it just depends on the demand supply fundamentals in the in the u.s markets uh you know because i think if silver got to 40 dollars, you're going to see a lot more buyers come in trying to uh, you know for the fear of missing out uh on the run up on silver's price and so i think that's when you're going to see a lot of buying which means they're that uh, dealers are going to want them and that they would probably pay you spot price for them they may even give you a little bit more spot price for them so we'll see all right Let's see here. <clears throat> Checking something here. Let's see. Okay. Let me get back over here. Didi Prepper says, excellent report. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. It always livens it up with all the emoticons, which I appreciate. And uh, let's see here. And the Hunt Brothers of, of China, Silver Stackers. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And Ominous, Rooster. I believe the 2450 is a new resistance. I'd like to see the 28 you mentioned to be the resistance. Yes, I would too. And I did a video this evening about how it broke through that resistance. Uh, let's see. Big Trader says, Chat GPT says, What? Let's see here. All right. Uh, where did you get that silver wrench? I had a member of the community actually made it for me. I'd like to get a bigger one. That would be cool to get a bigger one of those. But yeah, it's pretty neat. The White Mamba. The White Mamba says this. Um, a Chinese financial collapse will be a horrible event for the United States because a lot of U.S. debt and currency will probably be dumped into the market. That's true. Also, in China, you're lucky if you can get authentic gold and silver. Plus, I think people are losing trust in the Chinese currency. Yep. I think so too, for sure. Although I think you might be surprised. Yes, yeah, some people will try to put, pull the wool over, but it's probably much more difficult than you think to get cheap, uh, to get um, 
fake uh, fake gold there. Not that it's out of the realm of possibility. We're likely to get more fake Chinese gold here than there, I think. All right. Uh, T-Girl. I have a lot of comments to go through here today. Um, picked up five peace dollars for 23 each. A pretty good price. One gram gold bar for 115 and 1 1.9 grams actual gold weight scrap gold, $107. I converted my disposable fiat and feel I did a great job. However, finding silver for stacking at my local flea market was thin. Happy hunting. There you go. Nice. Good job, T-Girl. That's great. All right. All right. Let's see here. We've got Shane Applegate says, Someone threw a wrench in the silver program. Now I know what's wrong with the prices. There you go. And it's right there on display that you can see. Uh, Numis, uh, Numismatic Stacker says here, Silver will not be remonetized uh, and become more than industrial metal. When silver moves upward, there's major sell-offs. People need the money to fight inflation. There are billions of ounces in private hands. The higher gold is, uh, it looks disparity. If gold is low, it promotes prosperity. Not should now is not should this is true. However, it feels like that. Okay, thank you, Numis, Numismatic Stacker. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Very good. Let's see here. And Count Derpula saying what? All right, there you go. What? By the way, is a uh, Mike Harsh still here? Mike Harsh. Are you still in the in the chat? Uh, Elias Kelly says thirty two U S dollars per ounce of silver in Lebanon. Oh wow! How did you find that out? I'd be curious to know. I didn't know Lebanon had its own exchange price. I kind of doubt. It. I would be very curious to see what what that is, unless it's being sold for that. But that's not really a true a measure of the uh, of the of the spot price there. Reboot is here. Reboot is here. Very good. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. Mike is still here. Okay. I was wondering because you, you just asked that one question and didn't say anything else. I was just kind of curious, but thanks for sticking around. All right. Very good. And uh, let's see here. Winston Smith says, no, they changed the rules on the Hunt Brothers, which is what caused the crash. Yeah. And there's a lot of more details about that. They changed the rules on them, and that's what caused the crash. The only way to beat them was to change how margin buying was to be conducted at the time. On the 7th of January, 1980, in response to the Hunt's accumulation, the exchange rules regarding leverage was changed. COMEX adopted Silver Rule 7, which placed heavy restrictions on the purchase of commodities and margin. Interesting. Okay, thank you for that. And I love the, uh, the details that some people give, for sure. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see here. Um, and uh, let's see here. Miss the old YouTube says, correct me if I'm wrong, but silver was up to 40 or $50 in 2011. Yes, it was. That's right. I don't believe it's unreasonable to say we should see that again soon, considering how unstable everything is right now. Actually, it is unreasonable. Here's why. Because it was a unique situation with supply, demand, and other things that happened at the time. Um, it was an anomaly. I think I've talked about it before, but I forget exactly. Evom says it had a massive bull run when it was tied at all-time high and close of 49 on a random Friday. The COMEX adjusted the margins for the silver contracts. The effect was immediate, and the price never recovered, despite uh, silver losing none of its fundamentals. So very interesting indeed. All right. Nice. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know where Rocky is. Hope he's all right. We love Rocky. And uh, let's see here. So, XAUGSD says, your English voice is a little bit heavy for me. Oh, man, heavy, heavy duty. Nice one. I like that. I like Because I, I like heavy metal, so that's fine if it's heavy. He says, I could not understand the whole speech, but video is so informative. I converted around $700 thousand dollars to platinum i can't wait 10 years i'll keep buying. i can wait 10 years seven hundred thousand dollars to platinum wow that's crazy i assume that's in physical form 
I'm not sure. But anyways. Alright. Mmm. Ah, let's see here. Cemetery Shop. I don't know why you keep saying your prediction might not happen this year. It's your time in the sun. I hope so. I've been burned. Uh, I've been wrong on the predictions for so long. I, um, I'm questioning myself, Cemetery Shop. So that's why I, that's why I did it. Yes, indeed. All right. My accent is very strong. I have a very strong accent for you. That's right. It's a very strong Russian accent. This is me Russian accent. It's about as pure Russian accent as you can get. I'm going to keep... Con I almost kind of sort of like uh, Asian, too. You know what I mean? Maybe Chinese or Mandarin. A Mandarin accent. Cross between Mandarin and Russian. I don't know. Uh, Albert Schneider says, I want Silver Wrench. Where do I find it? Uh, well, you can look on this video and can see it right there. But if you want to get one of your own, you gotta you got to have somebody pour it for you or cast it for you. Yeah. You've got to cast it. you got to have somebody cast it. That's how I, that one was uh, handmade. Handmade by somebody. All right, let's see here. Nina Harvey says the following on this. Let's get to it. All the people on YouTube talking about silver have a vested interest in it. Uh, they make money from us buying it. Well, that's a pretty big blanket statement, and it's wrong. Uh, there's only a few that uh, that have a vested interest in it if they're, if they're tied to a bullion dealer and they really pump it up, but that's not most of us on YouTube. Of course, you're going to say it's a great buy. How many years have they say it's going up in price when it does and they're told so? Who makes them experts? Well, Nina Harvey, who makes you the expert to lump all of us in together as one to think that we have a vested interest in it going up? You're not paying much attention, Nina Harvey, that's for sure. Uh, Max M. All right, thank you. <laughs> Max M. $10 super chat. I don't know if I can keep it up, but I tell you what, I appreciate it. Let's see. But, uh, you know, I would humor you, uh, but let me just make sure if everybody else, I'm going to try this. If you're okay with it, in lieu of me doing push-ups, uh, should I do the Russian accent for the rest of the stream? Yes or no? Just type yes or no. Should I do the Russian accent for the rest of the stream? I will try it for the rest of the stream. Let's see here. Mike Harsh, I really enjoyed your take on how stackers get hyper-focused on gold and silver prices and forget to prioritize the real important things in life. Disappointed to see the lithium show. Well, uh, Mike Harsh, um, I'm transparent about it, and it's part of the... Uh, it's part of the, uh, uh, you know, advertising and things like that. And it's not a shill because if you watch that whole interview, uh, you know, there are disclaimers in there about the, the risk of it. But I will do videos on mining stocks uh, from time to time. And but all those you're going to know, like when you asked now twice now, because I knew Mike Harsh would get pissed off about about that thing. But the thing is, Mike, here's here's the here's the deal. Uh, I never take on any sponsors that aren't legitimate. Um, and I know this company is, and the people that I work with are completely legitimate. And we're very transparent on what's out there. But we do also do talk about the real important things in life. And this is an investment opportunity, but it's a high risk, high reward, as I always say. And uh, so I am completely proud of doing that video. And uh, so you can be as disappointed as you want. I'm going to continue to do them as they come around because because uh, it's it's uh, because it's the um, because it's there's uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, with diversification in, in some of the stocks. And we always say that uh, with anything in life, uh, there's risk and reward. There's risk and reward to buying gold and silver, to stacking gold and silver too, and uh, anything related to the metals or thereabouts, we're going to do. Uh, on this channel and I don't do them very often either so um, so I don't think I should be condemned for doing a video like that um, and and for the time that I did I spent on this channel and the effort and everything like that that's one of the benefits of doing it and you get opportunities like that so anyways all right so should I stick with a Russian accent for the rest of the channel let's see here uh, will it no. Yes, 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 maybe. Yes, no. Let's see here. No. It's almost, it's slightly more says yes than no, but 
<laughs> there's almost enough no's that maybe I shouldn't do it. I don't want to lose any any viewers. So I tell you what, Matt's in. I like it. Let me let me do some push-ups and I'll count those push-ups as in, in, in a Russian accent. Would that be okay, Maxim? Would that be all right? Uh, let's see here. All right, yes. Okay, very good. All right. So I'll do this push-ups and count. I will count them uh, in, in a Russian accent. Very good. All right, let's see here. All right, here we go. We're going to do these push-ups. I'm going to do them in the Russian accent. Here we go. We're going to do a one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't even know. It's hard to count in Russian with a Russian accent. It really is. It's tough to count in a, in a Russian accent. But anyways, let's see here. Very good. And Jeff Nelson says, I am surprised I don't see the crash the cash for gold strands on the sidewalks yet in Los Angeles. Waiting for a dip, we will see if three rate cuts will happen. It'll be fascinating. I think if 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 uh, if we see uh, inflation stay where it is, or even rise more, I think they're not going to cut rates. Uh, I think they would be foolish to do that. But with this 1.2 trillion dollar package that was that was just um, passed. They've got a real problem on their hands. They have a real they have a real problem on their hands, that's for sure. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Funnily enough, friends just flew out to Turkey today. I'll have to ask him about the opinion on gold out there, as he is actually Turkish. Yes, that would be good, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. I'd love to know. That's that's a that's a that's that's cool that you have that content. All right, very good. That's right. Thank you, Max. Yeah, I try my best. You know, that's just it. I always try to be as transparent as possible with any um, any sponsors. And there have been few and far between lately. In fact, that's one of the things. I've been, this is the first one I've done this year with the with those sponsors. But people know, and because it's said it's a sponsored video, we're very transparent about it. One of those channels to do to do that. And uh, so yeah, so I don't see anything wrong with that, and I don't. And most people don't have a problem with it. Yes, Hugh, uh, that guy, one, the one, the uh, FPS Russia, the one guy got shot, got killed, execution style. The other guy got in trouble and was off the platform or something like that. It was a, it was a, it was pretty crazy. Uh, it was pretty crazy. I don't need what I think he's on some different platform now. But that was a very, very popular YouTube channel for a long time. Uh, strangest thing I've ever eaten. Man, you know, I don't know. I haven't eaten many exotic foods. Um, maybe a mango, probably. Robin Hood new, now announcing the new gold standard. Is that the trading app, Metal Seer? The trading app, I'm not sure. Silver Supplement is here. And a mango is not that exotic, is it? So I don't really don't. That's about the. But anyways, very good. All right. Uh, let's see here. I wonder what that Robin Hood. Is it the trading app? I'm not sure. Ibji says one thing I've noticed: you can use the same paper dollar bill in all your videos. You've gotten way more than one dollar's use out of it. Keep it clean and crisp. Yes, well, just me handling in there, I've noticed compared to a new dollar bill that it is toned a little bit. It looks different. I don't know. Oh, it's a credit card. Okay. The gold, it's interesting. Interesting. Wow. A gold standard credit card. All right. Thank you, MG. Dang. 4866. Definitely not a time to sell. I went to my local LCS today. To actually see what's going on, and they were only paying a dollar fifty back of spot for silver rounds, and ninety to ninety-five percent of spot for foreign and gold, depending on size, and about spot for gold eagles. They said still more sellers than buyers. As things go up, that's pretty wild to see. And the thing is, we're getting anecdotal evidence of a lot more buyers of gold online, which is strange. It's crazy. All right. 
Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. All right, Mojave Gold says, runaway Turkish inflation might just show us an example of what we could see in the U.S. Uh, I'll trade fiat for gold whenever I can, but I wish silver would take off in sales again so I could trade some off for gold. Yeah, I know. I hear you. That would be nice for sure. Uh, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Silver Supplements, uh, local coin shop, he, they pay over spot. That's cool. Very, very nice. I think one of my local coin shops has an odd way of doing it. They actually uh, they actually uh, uh, trade for uh, 25 cents under spot per ounce. Crazy. How thick is too thick? Um, uh, depending on what you're referring to, let's think, depends how soft, how soft they are. Yeah, that's really the, the, and in that case, there's no such thing as too thick. Piranum Bolivia, tastes like crappy. There you go. Tastes like crappy with an attitude. That's right. Tea as in hot tamale. There you go. Now that is some tea. That's right, gold chick. That's exactly right. I love the hot tamale. All right, um. Hisono Center X says here, crypto seems like the opposite of gold, imaginary money versus real money, relying on some digital bank versus holding it in your hand. All right. Very good. Uh, that's a lot of people feel that way for sure. Look at the peaches. The peaches and the uh, eggplants come out in full force tonight here. Hillbilly Stock Picks is here. Good to see you. All right, Matsy Malworth says here, silver is stuck between 25 and 30 for years and will not jump over for the next five to eight years. Um, I was very stupid to invest so much money in silver. Tech stocks, crypto, and even gold have much better returns. Um, yep. Well, I mean, you know, and the thing is, is, you know, silver is a long game. It really is. It's, it's a long game for sure. And depending on how you buy it, will kind of uh, make or break you in some ways. Uh, reflective metal. Looking at your silver setup there. Let me get to this and pull this. I've got to get at least. We've been going for a while here. Come on, let's get this thing going. Pull this back. We've got to be efficient here. We've got to make this work. Uh, I think the wrench signifies the tools in the form of the information we need to make sound decisions on preserving your wealth. And the silver bullet signifies the importance of protecting that wealth. That's just my observation. Thanks, Alan. Another great video. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brian Smythe says here, if silver undervalued, though, if you're comparing it to the 1980, but that um, was once in a decade or so, or even uh, comparing it to the gold-silver ratio, I hear this all the time. It all depends what you're comparing it to. Same thing could be said about anything. Yep, it does. And that's just it. You can pick any two dates to make something look really great or something look really bad. Whoa, Mike Harsh with her first super chat. The most ever, ever given on this channel. Wow, you're in good company with the lithium sponsor content, Yankee and Silver Dragons both. How much to take a stand against? Oh, wow. Well, Mike, I, you know, I'm honored and humbled, and I appreciate you. Um, uh, very kind of you. I, you don't have to. And did they post videos today, too? Um, I don't know, because I haven't seen their videos. But, um, you know, uh, and but... It, it's just the um, I, you're very kind. I obviously you feel very strongly about this. Um, so I tell you what, why don't you? I mean, and I'm not saying that you need to pay me to not do it, but I'm just saying. Uh, but you you feel strong enough to be able to to, to do that. Uh, and by the way, I, if I would have known you would have done that, I would have you sent it via PayPal, friends and family, because uh, YouTube takes thirty percent of that, and taxes takes another twenty eight percent. But if you could email me at salivatemetal at gmail.com, we'll have the conversation off offline um, or, or, you know, privately to just see what you're, to see what, uh, um, uh, to see, you know, kind of, because you feel strongly about it. You're, you're, 
I think you mean well. So uh, send me an email at salivatemetal at gmail dot com. Let, let's talk about it. Because um, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't mean to be, you know, uh, crass in my response, but you know, it's, it's a, you know, maybe I can try to com explain a little bit better and, and hear you out. And probably the conversation better I have have uh, that we can talk about, um, you know, off offline here. So yeah, but thank you. I appreciate that so much. You didn't have to do that. I, I appreciate your viewership. I definitely don't want to lose you as a viewer, uh, you know, because it is about integrity. We have to have integrity. And uh, and I really do feel that um, even even if we do these these videos, we, we do have it. Um, um, and but I'll, hopefully I'll help you or just get get where you're coming from. So just email me. We'll do it. I owe you 100 exercises because what I do is for every dollar donated via uh, super chat, I do a push up or an exercise. So I'm going to give you a hundred. So I'm going to pay you back at least in, in some exercises, at least. So here we go for Mike. For Mike, this is for Mike. Thank you, brother. Here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh boy, I got a long ways to go to pay this off. Hoo hoo. All right. Let's see here. And uh, all right, here we go. Yeah, I need to do some sit ups. I need, well, what I do, I do, uh, I'm going to do some um, razor kicks, which works the stomach muscles too. Yeah, diamonds ones, I won't, won't be able to do it. But here we go. All right, this is for Mike. Okay, we need to do uh, 80 more exercises. Let's do some razor kicks. Let's see how many of these we can do. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. All right. Oh. Haven't done those in a while either. That, that really works your back muscles and your glutes. I mean, not your glutes. I touch my glutes, but my... Uh, Stomach muscles, my abs, which I don't have much of abs, but all right, all right. So now let's do some curls for Mike. Here we go. Whew. I'm definitely getting the workout tonight. Thank you, Mike. Let's see here. All right. By the way, that's the most ever. I think somebody sent $99 once, but wow. All right, here we go. Let's see here. All right. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right. Now, that is, how many is that? 20, 40, uh, 60, 70. I need to do 30 more exercises. Let me catch my breath here. Welcome. Good to see you guys. Yeah, 1,000 ounce bars are exactly. Good to see you. Welcome. Good to see you folks tonight. Let's do a, let's do a few more um, comments and I'll catch my breath and I'll do, I'll do the other exercises from Mike. And Mike, thank you so much for that, Mike Harsh. I definitely appreciate that. I hope you will email me because we'll have a discussion about it. 
And I do apologize if I came off defensive about it. But anyways, let's see here. Michael Porter says here, uh, why does the Austrian one, one ounce $100 Corona always cost spot price or like 15 bucks back of spot? I don't understand because it's 90% gold coin, just like the pre-33 gold coins and foreign gold coins like gold francs. Why is that gold always so cheap? You know, it's another great video. Well, Michael Porter, the reason is, is because it's not a full ounce. Um, and, and really the pre-33 gold coins aren't either, but there are, there are a lot of restrikes for those. So it's like bullion because it's technically fractional. Um, and this is why it's always so close to spot. Very good. Let's see here. And uh, very good. Let's see here. But yeah, but good question indeed. Uh, that's why pieces like that and also the 20 franc coins are usually so cheap too. Mark Pong here uh, says here, actually he says stupid videos, so I'm not going to heart this comment, but we are going to respond to it. Gold is money, wealth and insurance. Gold will buy you food, all of the perishable goods and even life. A gold coin will buy you 400 milkshakes. You can go on holiday having a couple coins in your pocket. You leave gold for your family after you're gone. Gold gives financial stability and freedom. Stupid video. Well, that's fine. Nothing I said in this video uh, is goes against anything you said. It just is saying to to stop and smell the roses. That uh, you uh, because right now gold will not buy you food and other perishable goods. Right now, you have to get cash for it. Good luck taking a gold coin and buy food. So you say stupid video, I say stupid comment and watch the video. Watch the video to see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Have a good night, CCT. Thank you, brother. Have a good night, my friend. All right. All right. It's crazy. And I can tell this guy did not watch the video. Um, or doesn't know about how gold, the fungibility of gold uh, right now because you can't just take you can't take a vacation with gold i mean in some places will you might be hard you're very hard pressed to find somebody who will take it uh very very hard uh pressed uh all right let's do one more then we'll finish out these exercises i'm going to split them between push-ups and more curls i think let's see here all right <clears throat> from KC Thunder says the moment the silver and gold exchange in the Far East are no longer priced in US dollars you will know the great global metal starts can happen all of a sudden overnight so it's better to get prepared early by many years than being late by seconds yep um, and you know it is good but you don't have to overdo anything for sure there are ways to do it in balance but yep indeed all right <clears throat> let's see here all right let's do some more Push-ups here. There we go. For Mike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. All right. Now we're gonna do fifteen curls. And then we'll have done a hundred exercises for Mike tonight. I want my reps. There you go. All right, here we go. So here's here's 15 more for Mike Harsh. Here we go. In curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, that's right. We did a bonus, five more. We did 105 total exercises for Mike Harsh. Thank you, my friend, appreciate that. Whew, all right. Wow, I didn't think I'd get through that. Oh man, all right. Thank you again, Mike. All right, let's see here. Let's go to David Martin. Can't really understand why Bitcoin is valued so high. Actually, there's a difference. It's priced very high uh, because it has no intrinsic value where gold has. 
Gold is also a finite commodity, so in my mind, its current value is low. Well, they would argue, they would argue that uh, that that Bitcoin has a finite value because there's only 21 million of them. But really, that's not that rare when you think about it. All right, no IQ. Some people just don't get it. Oh man, yes indeed. And thank you, JM Unleashed and Mr. Dreams. I think gold can go up to 3K this summer. Premium right now, Istanbul is 8% on gold. That's really alarming. Wow. Yes, Istanbul, that is something. Yep, it doesn't surprise me considering the, all of the demand in Turkey right now. Herb Ash is here. Thoughts on the Francis Scott Key Bridge? Will it hurt the supply chain? They say for cocoa, chocolate, and for automobiles, it's going to hurt those. It's going to hurt those in the immediate aftermath until they get that bridge replaced and uh, it's going to take quite some time to do that finding alternate routes is going to be tricky for those things but i think it will have an effect on supply chain for automobiles and for uh, cocoa supplies apparently so we may see prices go up for imports and exports for automobiles unless they can find some other way to navigate but apparently the port of baltimore is very important and it just goes to show you how fragile our our supply chains are and if somebody was so inclined uh to cause us harm they know where and how to strike right it's crazy all right all right man let's see here okay let's see here now we go to david g says thanks i'll stay the course wow lithium bulls bears inflation deflation Currently, the biggest commodity news is cocoa, triple in price over the last year. Exactly. And probably will go up even more now with what happened on the bridge. Yep, exactly. And let's see here. My kitten as a grandmaster says, uh, what's up? Keeping my eye on the silver price. That's what we're going to do. Keep an eye on it. And a pirate says, silver performs dismal lower than all commodities, but it's the fault of all American traders. Too bad for the Westerners. Meanwhile, the Chinese are emptying their coffers with the price differential. Yes. <clears throat> it's it's, it's uh, crazy. Uh, American traders. We'll see here for sure. All right. And we've got uh, unaffiliated. Copper has held up nicely as well and had a nice run of late. Yep. Uh, yep. We keep an eye on copper. Jeff Nelson, the surging of oil price will drive the cost of everything up more. I wonder if the bubble ever pops. Yeah, and actual oil is down a little bit today, for sure. All right. <clears throat> Let's get over here to Tube Radio. And he says, ain't that the truth? Maybe we should smack down something they like. Thank you for time in the video, as always. And take care for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Lithium-wise, I'm all for it, but I have a position with Standard Lithium, which is down by Mississippi and Arkansas. I went with them and got shares because of their direct lithium processing methods. It speeds up the process and because of the major resource that they're sitting on top. That's literally because of the brackish water. And that's why where, where my uh, sense is, their ticker is, is SLI. And uh, the biggest lithium deposit is in Arkansas and spans the states, including Texas and Mississippi, most of the southern U.S. That's great. The one area that they're, they're talking about in this video uh, that Cal was talking about is up in that uh, James Bay region. I think that's the biggest deposit they say in the whole world. But this deposit in Arkansas will be very interesting to see if that's explored. But that's good. But thank you, Twitch Radio. That's really cool. All right. And we have got... Uh, Seth says, sold all my silver yesterday for years of hopes of being dashed, have depleted my desire. We'll try to luck at the casinos. If uh, reliable progress is difficult through gaming, we'll run for political office. All right, there you go. Yes, indeed. It's all a gamble for everything. Except you run for political office, you just make yourself a big target. And I'd never run for political office. The headaches involved with that, I just can't imagine. It's insane. Uh... All right, no worries, Nordic. I'm glad you're here tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nordic Omerita. Okay, uh, Haya House. I try to buy a half ounce of gold a week. Going today to pick up my weekly half ounce. Wow, that's really good. That's a that's two ounces a month at least. That's pretty amazing. Uh, Kane of Day says here, India isn't holding back. 
Didn't they buy 73 million ounces of last month alone? Amazes me that didn't push the price up, I know. Well, that may have what did push it up before this scale back. By the way, Dean R. is here. Good to see Dean. Twitch Radio is here. Good to see you. Hiding in the background. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, good comment you had. That's pretty cool about that deposit, that lithium deposit. Um, but like I said, all the miners, and there's some that are riskier than others, know the risk um, for sure. Yep, indeed. That's something I always try to point out uh, for sure. It's not for everybody. All right. Now, 3B says gold and Bitcoin are almost identical in price. One kilo is around 70K. Interesting indeed. Great work, Sal. Thank you. Actually, they're very different in price, but they're trading at all-time highs, and that way they're identical. Uh, both trading at all-time highs. Uh, all right. Jukebox says here, um, central banks know the majority of anyone with money are not stupid enough to purchase precious metals. Banks do not have to manipulate it. People with money do not want the poopy. I know multimillionaires that do that do not own an ounce of gold or silver. Won't touch it. Could care less. Check out Bezos, Zuckerberg. They're selling stocks in their companies and buying real estate. It's rumored Musk bought a silver mine. I see no proof of that anywhere. YouTube hype propaganda rumors. Yep, we don't know if that happened. He probably would be wise to buy a silver mine just to keep the supply chain, to control the supply chain. But anyways, but... Uh, uh, but the thing is that you might be surprised, Jukebox, how many um, uh, people have gold. I did a video about Prince, who had several kilo, like 10, 12 kilo size bars that they found in his estate. Uh, I think there's probably more people out there that have gold than, than you think. All right, let's see here. All right, John D. says the following here. <clears throat> um Let's see here. It says, when there is a whole monster box of silver and a single missile, it makes you wonder if the government is allowing the price to artificially be controlled like it is so they can keep the cost of missiles down and maintain their supply. That's assuming there is that much silver. I don't think there is. I really don't think there's nearly as much. I mean, there could be more than a couple ounces. I don't know. But I don't think there's 500 ounces. No way. I, I just don't buy it. But the thing is, is people can say that. Because, and it's being, I might need to do another, I did a video on that years ago uh, to try to question the myth. Uh, right now, I might need to do a video and kind of take a stronger stand against it because I don't think that's right. I probably need to revisit that because many people are, are repeating it and keep repeating it. And then it, it, it bolsters the case for manipulation or suppression, but I just don't think it's there. It's easy. When, when something's top secret or inaccessible, people make all kinds of claims about it. Uh, that's been the case for the Grand Canyon for years. Since the 1900s, people have been saying, ooh, there's a lot of gold in the Grand Canyon. That's why they made it a national park. No, they made it a national park because it's freaking beautiful and they wanted to preserve it. That's why they made it a national park. Have a good night, Mike Herrera. Thanks for coming in, Mike. Appreciate you being here. Very cool. And Dustin Miller says, don't threaten me with a good time. Okay, I'll try to, I'll try to repel the, uh, the threats. And David G says, thanks, Sal. You, as you always say, buy it when it's unloved. That's right, exactly. That's in my market report for this evening about silver. Robert Tellis says, the more silver goes down, the more I want to buy. Yes, understandable, understandable. And uh, that's the good time to do it within your budget and with your level of understanding. And Amateur Stacker says, just picked up the very first one ounce gold yesterday or recently. Great job, Amateur Stacker. Traded some silver in the process. There's absolutely no buyer's remorse whatsoever. That's awesome. Way to go. Way to go. All right. Let's see here. And. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, wait a second. I can't believe it. C4 just said bloodbath. That must mean only one thing, that he's calling for violence. Shame on you, C4. Goodness gracious, what's gotten into you? No, I'm kidding. That's how the media would react. Keith, I find it plausible that there are 500 ounces in the missiles, not because they need to, but because they need to spend their budget. Oh, yeah. Well, I would make the argument, Keith, even though I certainly understand where you're coming from on that, and that it's probably not practical. Uh, for something like that, it's got to be engineered perfectly. 
that extra weight is probably would be a hindrance to them. Uh, but anyways, but, uh, you know, I don't know. We really don't know for sure how many ounces. No one really knows. But it wouldn't, it, I just don't think it would be practical to have that much in a, in, in a, in a Tomahawk cruise missile. I really don't. Um, and even if there was, I don't know that, uh, that it would amount for, because how many Tomahawk cruise missiles are actually launched per year? Hardly any, even with what's going on in the, in the world today. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. User says they manipulate the prices until they run out of physical silver. You know, we'll see what happens. Uh, still think we're a ways off from that, although the LBMA vaults were getting narrowly close there for a while. And even still, they had a pretty good uh, 890,000 ounces, I think was the lowest I saw. Still a lot of silver, but I digress. Sign up says, Sal, what I think is funny is that silver did well during the gold delivery month. And now that it's in a silver delivery month, it will be controlled. There is a pattern. If you have, all you have to do is recognize a pattern. Well, you know, it's like uh, anything that's technical analysis is recognizing patterns. And you know what they say, um, history uh, doesn't repeat, but often it rhymes. And in that rhyming, you may find some differentials in the vowels that make it difficult to do it. Anyway, it's very good. That's right. Yep, that's right, David G. It flies in the face of to the counterproductive due to the weight. That's exactly right. Uh, Tomahawks hit Yemen. Okay. So how many of those did we launch, Reboot? That's a good... So so we did use those against the Houthis, apparently. All right. It's good to know. But, uh, of course, kind of... We use a... How, how, how expensive is a Tomahawk compared to the drones that they're using? $2,000 drone compared to a $750,000 or, or $1.2 million Tomahawk cruise missile. Matthew Crestlife, Luna stole a whole lot of Royal Kennedys and stashed them in the house or somewhere. She won't give up her hiding spot. Hmm. I don't know who Luna is, but uh, all right. Thank you, Matthew. Let's see here. $1 trillion every three months. That's right. It's ridiculous. 3% inflation in three months. The rate... We're we're dancing a very dangerous dance here in the United States, Silver Dreams. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so, Matthew. All right. Anxious Stacker says, up, down, whenever everyone, everyone else goes. I just know I'll be looking to order another big order when I'm paid. So the lower, the better. There you go. LF go. Thank you, Anxious Stacker. Edward Hubbard says, I thought yesterday, of course, silver drops. I bought yesterday, of course, silver drops. I did score my first 100-ounce bar. Una and the Lion. Whoa, nice. Wow, that's a beautiful bar. I've seen, I'm not in person, but I've seen pictures of it. You're going to love that bar when you get it. Cemetery Shop. On this one, the silver price reminds me of a recruiting dream. I'm trying to run, but my feet are stuck in the ground. I hear you. Yep, reoccurring dream. A reoccurring dream. That's it. Thank you. Yep. Uh, oh man, thank you, Michael K. I appreciate that. Out of control. I'm a most energetic show. I try, to, you know, I tell you what, honestly, a really energetic show is, uh, is Empire Precious Metals. He's pretty energetic with his auctions, but thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Let's see here. We have got World Money Wins. The two ounce St. Gons round is amazing. Yeah. Paid 53 bucks for it. Do you think that's a good price for it? 53 bucks, I think $53.50, something like that, but anyways, all right, let's see here, Cemetery Shop then goes on to say, you can't please everyone, I can't, I'm going to try though, I'm going to make it my mission to please everyone, no, I'm kidding, I know I can't, I can't, I don't want to go out of my way to disappoint somebody, but sometimes it happens, and by the way, Cemetery Shop, speaking of which, you remember the guy that, uh, you know, didn't watch the video and said I didn't get to the point, didn't mention how many ounces, Turns out that guy just created his account recently, and uh, and he came back and he insulted you, and he insulted me and some others who comment on that and other threads. So I just banned him. I blocked him. Just a troll. I think it was probably somebody who had another comment here that I blocked before. Uh, I'm not can't can't say who for sure, but I think I have an idea who it is. And so yeah, it's crazy. But anyways, some want the price to fall and stay low enough to continue buying more, but some still 
revere the dollar so much they want their worthless silver to bust out so they can sell it off. Yep, yep, that's true. I'm going to try to profit from it. I don't think we should. that should not be the aim of stacking silver. Liking and loving your content. Thank you, Zook. Appreciate it. And by the way, it's not to say you can't profit from silver. You can. It's just adds an extra level of stress. And if you do collectible coins, well, you can flip those. You can flip those. But anyways. Uh, oh, he did make a second account. Wow. You know, when people do that, you know they're just being trolls, right? It's crazy. A second account. I don't know where the... If I see the second account, I'll ban that one too, but... I don't do that very I don't do that very often. Uh, somebody's got to just be all out rude and crass, and but uh, try not to engage them. But anyways, uh, Dean R, a big fan. He says, "Drop that cash and get some silver." She also says that she is the face of the feminist movement. Thank you, Dean R. Robert Simeon, I'm not worried. There you go, brother. Don't want you to be worried. No IQ says, stack responsibly. That's my plan. I need to get back to No IQ on his email. And Wasilla Stacker says, I bought silver on my last two purchases because the ratio was so high. I was hoping to get back to gold this payday, but I have to buy some more silver instead. All right. Yes, indeed. Very, very cool. Very cool. Thank you, Wasilla Stacker. Dang says, made a small silver purchase today during the dip of $25.50 an ounce. Uh, more than my recent purchases, but not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. I think you did very well with that. For sure. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, okay. Shoot, I missed that one. Okay. Dang, thank you, Cemetery Shop. Well, that whole thread, when I blocked him, the whole thread disappeared. So, I'll have to look at that. Try to. I don't know what that name was, but I don't know. Anyways, Fred Farkle says, tell it, tell it, Sal, but remain calm. You are scaring my dog. We don't want to scare the dog. That's for sure. Thank you, Bosnian Stacker. He says, good stream and thumbs up. And folks, uh, it's getting late here. I would stay, but I have to get back to work. Yep, I got to work on tomorrow's video. The work never ends. Um, believe it or not, you know, it is a lot to put the, these videos together. and uh, and But I enjoy it because you guys are great. And I appreciate you guys watching and and for being here and, and being a part of this tonight. And Zardoz is still here. You're awesome. So um, I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for being here tonight. And Mike Harsh, if you're still here, please e email me, uh, my friend. And I do apologize if I snapped or snapped at you a little bit earlier there. But yeah, if you can email me, we'll 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 talk about it. Um, hopefully, um, you know. Uh, but anyways, just email me, salivatemetal.gmail.com. And thank you guys for being here. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this sage piece of advice, and that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Take care. See ya.